Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of Dream Team TV. In this episode I'm gearing up with my bow and I'm heading to the wildlife management area in Florida. It's been a tough season for me, but let's see if maybe my luck will change and I can get some venison in the freezer. Oh, it's our second morning. That's the we're set up in. So got a creek about 10 yards behind me. And then we got a thicket line about 30 yards in front of me where it opens up into some pines. Temperature is about mid 60s right now. It's been in the low 60s that night these past three days. The highs are about mid 70s. It's bow season here right now, so you can shoot buck or doe. And my freezer's empty at the house, so needless to say, if a doe walks out, she's getting shot. That's the plan, at least. haven't seen any deer but one these past two days that we were here and then one of them was at night or the only one we seen was at night yesterday I even had a hog come up behind me about 20-25 yards but I couldn't see him because it's so thick behind me but I could hear him I could hear him grunting around It was windy all night last night, and it's still windy right now. I'm assuming it's just going to be windy all day, but hopefully it'll calm down. Hopefully I can get a deer on the ground. The season's been kicking my butt. We'll see. Maybe I'll get one on the ground this morning. Well, it's 9 o'clock now. I haven't seen anything all morning. The wind is getting worse by the minute, it seems like. We got a rainstorm coming in. So I think I'm going to wait it out till about 9.30 if it don't start raining by then. I'm going to get down, head back to camp, get something to eat. Maybe do a little fishing if it ain't raining. Hopefully this rainstorm will come in and get a good heavy rain for a couple of hours and hopefully kill deer after that. We'll see what happens. I need something to happen. I haven't seen a deer this whole trip. I've seen one deer and it was that night when we were driving around. Hopefully my luck will change. We'll see. Right at the 20 minute mark is when this doe stepped out just as I was starting to loosen my harness to climb down. It goes to show it only takes a second. This doe fed around for over 20 minutes before she finally presented me a shot.
tearing my butt up. Oh man, that's exciting. I didn't think it was going to come together this morning. It was windy as crap. Wasn't singing nothing. It's about mid 70s right now, low 70s. It's warm. I'm standing here. I'm about to get down. It was about 9.20. I was going to get down at 9.30. I turned around to loosen my harness up a little bit so I can start climbing down, get my camera gear taken down. And she's standing about 15 yards right here to my left. I didn't even see her. But it was so thick I couldn't shoot. And she fed around to my left about 30 yards. Act like she was going away. There was another doe with her, but she was a little farther out. And I thought she was going to follow her because she was leaving. And she sort of did. She went out out of sight. I caught a glimpse of her about 50 yards in some brush. Uh, and I was calling to her, calling to her. She would look up, but she wouldn't pay no attention to her. I was giving her doe grunts. I was giving her fawn bleats. I was trying to get her over here, but... Uh, prayer works as I was praying the whole day on time. And she worked her way all the way from over there, turned around, came 20 yards, perfect made a perfect shot. Jesus, baby. I made shot just like I thought I did. She just went a whole lot forward, farther than I thought. I'm glad I finally got one because this season's been kicking my rear end since the beginning. It's the first wildlife management area deer, which I'm very happy about. Like I told y'all earlier, my freezer was empty, so if a slick kid came by, she was getting shot, and that's just what happened. One down for Dream Team. Well, thank God I finally sealed the deal and got some meat in the freezer. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and if you haven't already, be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless and safe hunting.